Well, hi there. My name is Noreen Smith and I'm a Creative Memories Advisor from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I'm thrilled to be here today to share some ideas on how you can create five, 10, and 15 minute layouts using the new Party Time Fast to Fab inspired designer paper pack. Now, the Party Time collection features three paper packs, and this Fast to Fab inspired designer paper pack is fantastic because basically you're getting pre printed papers that all you need to do is add your photos, a few decorations, and you are done. So the layouts are incredible. You can use them as a single page layout or as a double page layout and they're double sided so again you have lots and lots of choices. So with a layout like this for example you could choose to have your borders at the side. One can be at the side and one going across the bottom. There are so many different ways that you could configure these two papers to create your layout. So lots and lots of versatility. I'm going to be sharing some ideas using this, these fun balloon pages, but let me just give you a quick overview of some of the other pages. I love this one with the streamers. You could make it into a real cool sort of banner effect. You could have them both coming down from the top or both going up from the bottom. Lots of opportunities for different designs there. And then we've got more borders with the fun cupcake patterns on the back here. And then the final pages have this fun diagonal border. So again, you could have the borders kind of coming together in the center. They could go down and sort of across the page, or you could have them even in opposite corners. And then I love these candles on our last spread. And because these are more of a directional enhancement, you probably want to keep them upright, but it would be kind of fun uh, if they were off to the side. It might look a little strange if they were upside down though. One of the things that I love the most though about these Fast to Fab inspired designer papers is their versatility. So here's the beautiful Party Time album. And if I like to scrapbook and put my papers inside the top loading page protectors, I can do that and just slide that right in. Or if I'm a traditional scrapbooker who enjoys using the Creative Memories album pages, I can again scrapbook on my page and then just attach it directly to my album page and be able to put my page protector over top of it. So it's really the best of both worlds and the Fast to Fab inspired designer papers allow both um, album page and pocket page scrapbookers to use them in their albums. So as I mentioned, I wanted to share a five minute layout with you as well as a 10 and a 15 minute layout. And for each of those layouts, we're going to use a few of the different party time products. For our five minute layout, I have a couple of photos of my son uh, with his cake during a COVID birthday. So I'm going to use this balloon paper as my background. And all I'm going to use is um, some of the variety mat pack cards. And I think I'll probably mat the photos with some of the four and a half by six and a half um, mat. And then I thought I would use a couple of the uh, smaller mat cards that I would cut out as the title and the journaling. All I'm gonna need for this is my tape runner adhesive, my pen for journaling, and my trimmer to cut these mat cards down. So I'll start by just cutting this in half. I'm gonna get a nice little title card and a journaling card. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of play with my layout. I think maybe I'll just do something like this and adhere my photos right on top of my mats. So let's go ahead and do that. And that's really my page. All I have to do is journal on it, but you can see that the fantastic balloon embellishments as well as the fun pattern on the variety mat pack cards really makes the page come together effortlessly. So that was probably actually even less than five minutes. A really great, simple, fast page. For 
my 10 minute page, I'm going to use another one of the balloon themed patterned papers, but I'm also going to add a sheet of cardstock and we're going to actually use that to both make a background and some mats for our photos. And then I'm going to decorate this particular layout with some stickers. I love the party time stickers because there's actually two different packs. There's a pack with three sheets of embellishments and titles and words. And then there's a pack with three sheets of borders. So again, talk about fast. You can come up with incredible border designs really quickly using these stickers. And of course, all of the titles and little embellishments are ready to go on this particular sticker pack. So with the stickers, I'm also going to use some foam squares because I love the way that a uh, little sticker embellishment looks when it's popped up and off the surface. So to create this 10 minute layout, we're just going to do a little bit of trimming and then we're going to gut the center of our cardstock so that we can use it both as the background and as some photo mats. So I'm just going to take a half an inch off the two sides of this paper that don't have the embellishments on it. And then that will give me a, um, a slightly smaller piece of background paper and now you can get the idea that when I place this on top of my cardstock, the cardstock will form a nice border or background around the, uh, around the page. So let's go ahead and gut this cardstock. I'm just going to slide it into my 12 inch trimmer. I'm going to line it up with the one inch mark and I'm going to start my cut at the one inch mark marked on the base plate. And you can do this very easily by lining up the white line on the side of the blade housing with the one inch mark. We're gonna slide it down and then we're gonna stop at the 11 inch mark. So again, you're just going to look at the side of the blade housing to make sure that that white line is lined up with the one inch mark and then we're gonna stop at the 11 inch mark. Then we're just going to turn it, line it up with one inch, and do the same thing on all four sides. So now I have the background paper that I'm just going to be adhering my uh, Fast to Fab inspired designer paper to. And I also have a large piece about 10 inches by 10 inches square that I can use to map my photos. So I have the same two photos that I used on my five minute page. And I've also got a smaller photo. Uh, I believe it measures four inches by about three and a half. Yes, four inches by three and a half. So I want to mat these photos using this particular paper. So when you have a look, you'll see that we have just enough paper that we could mat it all. Plus we'll have a little bit extra. So let's go ahead and cut out two four and a quarter by six and a quarter inch rectangles and one four and a quarter by three and three quarters to mat this photo. So you can see I was able to cut my photo mats from that center block, plus I have a little bit left over that I'll just put off to the side. Let's go ahead and mat our photos onto our cardstock mats. And we'll also adhere our background together. Just add some tape runner adhesive to our cardstock very close to the cut edges or the gutted center and place our fast to fab inspired designer paper as close as we can to the center. Now we can go ahead and add our photos and I was thinking maybe something like this. And now we can go ahead and embellish. So let's get our stickers and foam squares and choose what we want to uh, choose what we want to add in. So I was kind of thinking maybe this happy birthday because again it features the balloons. So maybe something like that. So let's put some foam squares on it. 
And that way we can sort of move it around and see where we might like it. And I thought maybe some of these fun little uh, balloon animals would work as well and pick up again on the balloon theme. And maybe another one down here. And then I love to use these, um, these cute little sayings here. So I'll just add those with some foam squares. And maybe that last balloon animal. So I think something like that is gonna look great. I will just adhere these, and then for these ones, maybe I will draw a line with my black pen to sort of mimic the lines from the balloon here. Then I've got some space right on the page to do my journaling, and that's my 10 minute page done. Now for my 15 minute page, what I thought I would do is actually create a double page layout and I wanted to use the super fun balloon punch. So I've decided to pick another piece of paper from the Party Time Bright Paper Pack and I love this bright purple on the back. So I'm actually gonna make a border to go across the top of one side of my double page layout and then across the bottom of my other page uh, and we're gonna punch some balloons from that. That. And then I have some uh, some more photos that again kind of help tell that same story about Sam's birthday. So we will go ahead and add more photos onto our two page layout. So first of all, I want to cut some two inch border strips from this particular paper. And again, it's double sided, so you could choose whichever side you want. I really like picking up that purple uh, in this particular uh, pattern. So I'm going to feature this side, but when I punch my balloons from it, I'm actually going to be able to flip some of them over and use the opposite side as an accent. So I'm going to cut two two inch strips from this paper. And then I'm actually going to punch along the strips with the balloon punch to make my border. Now the balloons themselves are fairly small, but I think that if we feed our strip through the punch and keep punching all the way along, we're actually gonna come up with a really cool sort of positive negative border. So I'm gonna start by placing the edge of my paper at the edge of the punch here. And then we're going to use our punched shapes as a guide for our next punch. So start with it right flush with the edge, punch. And then as you move it along, your two little balloons will come out, set those aside. And then what I'm gonna do is line up the edge of this small punched balloon with the edge of the punch. Make sure it's at the back and punch. If you always use the back as your guide, your placement will be the same each time. So again, line up the edge of the little balloon with the side of the punch and make sure the paper is at the back and we'll just keep going until we've punched along the length of both our 2 by 12 inch strips. So now I have two fun border punches and lots of these great little balloons that I can accent my page with. So let's go ahead and start assembling it. I'm going to place one of my border strips just along the top here and I like the idea of having a little bit of an edge just above it. That again just kind of creates a nice little bit of contrast. So even just adding those it's quite fun but now we can also scatter some of these balloons, maybe flip some of them over. we have a fun look that we like. 
So I would go ahead and adhere these all down, maybe use some of the foam squares for my um, little individual balloons. But I thought that I would also sort of tell a story about how, you know, Sam enjoyed his cake, blowing out the candles. And I think I'll just put a fun sort of little arrangement of my photos here. And I might even just mat this on another piece of that purple paper so that it stands out. So I've gone ahead and adhered my photos and most of my borders and I matted that last little photo on some more of the purple cardstock and I'm actually just going to set it off to the side here. I've mounted it on foam square so it'll pop up and then my last little balloon with a foam square as well. So that's pretty much the layout and now I have room for some uh, titles down at the bottom here. I was thinking something like party like it's your birthday. Of course I could do say cheese which would be perfect over here and you know maybe even the happy birthday to you uh, you know somewhere else along here. So I'm just going to play around with the titles and then I'll add my journaling in the opposite side and that's my 15 minute layout done. So I really hope that you consider giving these Fast to Fab inspired papers a try and you'll be amazed at how quickly you can get a layout done. Thanks very much for joining me today. See you again soon. Bye bye for now.